Hey guys, welcome to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. We are getting ready to travel and live in this horse trailer for about two months. So um, what we're gonna do is get out of the driveway and we're gonna hook up and then we're gonna stay the night at the barn where our horses are. It's also where this trailer's permanent home is. So I don't think that we keep it in our driveway because we don't. So let's get hooked up. First things first, we're gonna get some air in the airbag before we load the trailer on it. So I'm gonna bring the airbags up to 50 PSI. Welcome to Redbeard Outdoors. My wife and I travel all over the country with our Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cat and our 40 foot Featherlight horse trailer with living quarters. We travel with our various number of Irish setters and our three horses Biscuit, Melody, and Tara. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully you can see me. We made it to the barn. I don't know, it's probably been four or five hours since we hooked up. And we're staying the night here. And um, we're gonna load horses in the morning and take off on about, probably gonna be a seven some hour drive. Um, you know, with the truck and trailer, so. That's what we'll be doing. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's, we have been on the road for about two hours. Uh, loaded the horses up, got out of the park. And we got about, depending on how many times we stop, four or five more hours ago. TSD logistics card. You guys don't know what that is. To summarize it quickly, it is a it's a diesel truck stop fuel savings program. It's sold through a trucking company that receives fuel discounts when they buy in mass quantities. And so what they did was open this uh, fueling card up to open to RVers. And so I saw a video on it and decided to take full advantage of it. And um, it's definitely worth getting if you guys are, if you guys tow a horse trailer um, because those are about the only places you, you can fuel up your truck is in the truck stops. And that's the only place where that card works. And it works pretty much like a debit card. And you're not gonna see the price up front. You're gonna see full full price at the pump, but then uh, 
let you go and review your statement later. Uh, it has like anywhere between 20 cents to 80 cents discounts, which, which is huge. I really tried hard to get a fuel tank before we went on this trip because I've been wanting one because if we can find a truck stop that has like 80 cents per gallon discount, I would fill up the truck and the exterior fuel tank to uh, really get a big benefit out of using that program even more. So one of these days I'll probably get an exterior fuel tank. So the way that I found out about that fuel card is through this YouTube video that I'm going to leave down in the link, link in the description below. I'm going to uh, leave that there for you guys to go watch. They uh, really explain it more in detail uh, than what I am. So if you guys are interested on how it works, go check out that video. I will mention that it was kind of scary filling out all the information online, but I will let you know that it is legit. Even though it kind of seems weird, it seems like a weird website, but it's legit. So once you can get over that um, and put in your information in, uh, they'll send you a debit card. It usually takes anywhere between like two or three weeks. So if you got a trip coming up, make sure you plan ahead and get that sent to you quickly. So another thing I did while I was at the truck stop was I brought my rig over the Catskill for the very first time. I've never done that before, so some tips and tricks about that if you've never done that before. There's essentially three different scales. There's your front tire of your truck, the back tire of your truck scale, and then the trailer scale. And then it gets three weights from those three different areas, and then it gives you your total weight. So, um, our total weight right now is 24,240 pounds. So I usually like to aim around being under 24,000 because we're not a dually. So um, I'll have to pay more closer attention to that. And once I get to summer camp, I'll break down these numbers a little bit more for you and show you what's up. So um, I'll do that here later in the video. For those of you that don't know, you can't be over 26,001 pound or you're you're going up into a CDL territory. So uh, we're under that by just uh, about 2,000 pounds, which is good. And especially for single rear wheel instead of a dually. So you can definitely exceed that 26,001 pound number with a dually. And if you, you got a big enough trailer, so. Anyways, um, drive's almost over. Got about an hour and a half left. I probably got one more field stop too before we get to summer camp. You guys watched my last video getting ready for this trip and all the work we did to the trailer. Uh, one of my projects was working on the propane refrigerator burner. And I took it apart, cleaned out the soot, blew it out with an air compressor and uh, we fired it up before we hit the road this morning and uh, lo and behold at the first gas stop the propane refrigerator was still running. Usually it kind of blows itself out or or the flame goes out and then it doesn't keep the refrigerator cool. So that's great news. Um, we have a cold refrigerator right now keeping all of our food cold while we travel. So pretty happy about that. Fuel stop number two. Okay, I just finished up with the next fuel stop. Um, it was a smaller one. We wanted to get fuel before we ended up in the middle of nowhere uh, where it's harder to get fuel because we are really out here in Nebraska in the middle of nowhere. So you want to talk about a low population area. This, this area is a very lightly populated so um, check the propane refrigerator again still working very very happy I'm glad I'm glad that uh, is working now because that's a uh, lifesaver keeping everything frozen and all the food cold and the drink 
least ready to go when we get there. So we are less than an hour away. Okay, we made it to summer camp. We we're all set up right here and uh, didn't vlog much because we were super busy, had a lot to do and it was really hot out. So um, yeah, we're here and I will talk to you guys more tomorrow because I am exhausted. Pretty good for being out of shape for reason. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> I couldn't see your dog. I just saw the bird fly. Whoop! It might have been a stop to flush. But who knows? You don't you, you didn't see it. Bird There's up. another one. Bird up. You've been missing every bird that's been flying past you. <laughs> yeah. She's not seen any of them? No, I don't oh, think oh, she's seen a single one. She just ah. Yeah, she's like, there's so much to look at. <laughs> she's there's in the air everywhere. <laughs> yeah. She's in the area, just yeah, not just, seeing them. Just well, missing them. You know, we. This is the first dog that's actually pointed a bird. No reason has reason, it. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah. still, this is the first field then. That's yeah. that's. Yep. That Otherwise, they've been the birds pointed. have just been getting up. Yeah. They kind of like they did over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dennis yeah. said, "Reason popped the cherry on camp." <laughs> <laughs> jump in that if you want and jump in there There's a quick look at the office. Showed you guys this in my last video, but I'm actually set up now. Been doing some work, been doing some YouTube here with my internet. Okay, so I did some research on the cat scale, and all our rights were good except for the drive axle, which is the rear axle on the truck. It weighed 7,360 pounds total weight that could be allowed on that is 7,000 pounds. So um, we had a lot of stuff in the bed and we kind of had a lot of weight in the nose. Um, that could easily be rearranged and fixed. Uh, so I don't think that's a huge issue. Plus we have airbags, but um, I'll be keeping an eye on that. But everything else was good to tow and um, 
here's the numbers. Front axle 5,420, we can have 6,000. Rear axle 7,360, we can have 7,000. We can tow a total of 16,851 pounds. We were towing 11,460. We can be max gross vehicle weight of 29,851, and we were 24,240. So, um, not too bad. Just uh, a little worried about that drive axle on if I want to get a fuel tank or not. So, kind of really need that, that fuel tank. Uh, I'll see how the future goes with that. The bird work you just saw was about four days of bird work. Uh, it's been a little tough. It's been hot. Uh, the dogs are out of shape, but they're slowly starting to get in shape. And so are our horses. So uh, that all has been going really well. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, we have a lot more uh, days here at camp. It's far from over. So um, make sure you subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out if you guys like it. And I will see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep hunting. Catch you guys later.